Yeah, Susan, there had been a small army of LAPD officers here on the bridge, but uh, they have left, or at least most of them have left, perhaps to go to San Pedro, or we're also told that there might be another incident down the street. But take a look here behind me. The officer that is still here at the scene is still pulling people over. You can see someone is being sighted there on the bridge as we speak. It is all part of the LAPD trying to send the message that they will not tolerate law breaking on the bridge. Take a look. I want to show you what it looked like last night when the LAPD shut down the bridge for the second night in a row because of illegal activity. Apparently, people were setting off fireworks on the bridge. The new landmark has become a magnet for mischief. People flocking here for photo ops, some hoping to get a viral moment. Videos of accidents, drivers doing donuts, and people climbing the arches have flooded social media. But yesterday, instead of a street takeover, LAPD what we saw was pullovers, with officers issuing citations for any rule breaking. The overwhelming majority of people visiting the bridge, though, are law abiding and come to take in the views and wish others would respect this architectural gem. Here's what some of them had to say. But it's been crazy what you know you see on the news of what people are doing, like you know, cutting hair on the street. It's just ridiculous. But at the same time, the, uh, the bridge is nice compared to the Golden State Bridge, you know. So we're here to check it out and um, see what it looks like. This is a good attraction that brings people in here. So I don't think climbing the bridge or doing donuts makes a whole lot of sense. Not talk of the safety, you know. And we've also spoken to neighbors who are very proud of this bridge. They like the views. They like that it's in their neighborhood, but they do not like all of the problems that have come along with it. They wish, they tell us that people would respect the bridge. They tell us, they'd also wish they respect the neighborhood and the neighbors. They're hearing, they say, donuts at all hours of the night. And they're grateful to see the police presence. Live in Boyle Heights, I'm Christopher Hartle. Let's send it back to you. I think a lot of people can understand that sentiment. Thanks so much, Christy.